just been a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. Yes, I have found that to be true. It was, and is, still a surprise. You must understand, I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter, for they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It was in ways I did not understand at the time. And so it has bothered me ever since. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo, and zealots appeared in force, seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately, but I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. No, maybe, I, I don't know. It all happened so fast, and I've had so much time since then to replay it in my head. Wonder if I should have done things differently. In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone to be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. Thank you, that is... <sighs> I'm sorry, I am not used to someone being so considerate on my behalf. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom.
hydrocarbons in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. Oh, I don't know. I was really hoping for a huge sign on the wall saying, Grix's legacy clues here. Do I have to spell everything out? Look for data slates, notes, terminal entries? If you wrote a poem on a piece of toilet paper, I want it. <laughs> it's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. smartest thing you've said all day. If I hear one more thing from either of you about getting paid for this job, I will put a bullet in your head myself. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. <sighs> fine, fine, go on, leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Need to see what I'm carrying? Another time.
I am always willing to carry an extra weapon. Or two. Or three. We will speak again. I am sure. Here we are, the place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet, the lock. Around five years, rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. Yeah. He needs to get this thing open, like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the 
everything is not fair. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Max. Sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! Did you hear that? I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. <laughs> well, look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell, can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We're on our own now. You think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No. No way. 
I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves, but I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect! Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that ice fall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. Pfft, hell no. Come on, we both know anything we find here about the legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her! We got more important things to do. Like spending all of our money. Playing it safe, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. Now, let's find a way out of here. I guess that's one way through. Okay, Zouch. What the hell was so important that you had to drag me all the way out of A Block at this hour? You know Jasper Crick's over in D Block? He's busting out of here, and he wants me to join him. Crick really thinks he can bust out of the lock? Why the hell am I just hearing about it now? Crick's only told the few people he trusts. He even told us to keep it to ourselves. We all cut our throats. Then why the hell are you telling me? Come on, I gotta explain this. It's because I like you, Rickard. And I want you to come with me. We've been meeting in this storeroom for, for months to... Well, <laughs> you know. I was hoping we had something a little more than that. Damn, Zouch. I, uh, didn't know you cared that much. <laughs> you give me the signal and I'll... Oh, shit. Wait. I forgot to turn off the recording. Recording? What the hell, Rickard? We never meet down here this late. I thought you were gonna kill me, all right? Kill you? Good God, no. I... I love you. All right? You gotta make me say it. Shit. I'm sorry, baby. Here. Let me turn the thing off and I'll apologize, okay?
A hundred years old, eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Get out of here. Remind Anyone me to thank you. They're hanging us out to dry. Quit screwing around and pick up! Hello? Hello? Waiting to hear back. Answer if you can. So the two of you made it, huh? Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. I swear, I am never putting ice in me drinks. Ever again. Things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh. Guard Bryant reporting. The shuttle bay techs were complaining about hearing some type of banging or scraping on the access doors, so we were sent to investigate. We headed to the surface and immediately engaged some indigenous creatures that had been burrowing through the ice. We managed to drive them off, but I'm certain they'll be back. Fortunately, our squad only suffered minor injuries. <sighs> First we deal with all the maintenance issues at the lock, and now this. If this keeps up, I'm going to request a transfer. To the trash. We might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves.
Looks like there's a guard tower over the cell block. We should check it out. in this kind of cold. That's oh, bullshit. Burned some serious cash when they lost this place. 
Keeper. Serves them right. Have you thought about what I've said? Well, maybe we won't have to. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? You've got a point. All right, I'll follow your lead for now. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Been in a few slams yourself, I see. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess.
you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Look at this dog. Oh, I can't 
marching me and stuff down here. Gardo was right. Cricks must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. But we play this right, and we're gonna be filthy stinking rich in no time.
We'll get one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what'll happen. Car or something. This is where the fleet started. It's history, man. Blows me mind. This an armory. Looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. 
this ought to come in handy. All right, let's keep moving. They aren't paying us enough to be poking through this scrap heap. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. A 
hundred years old, eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for quick escapes, I bet. <laughs> Smart. Do you have any idea how long I have been waiting? Use the interval. We need to talk. Where have you been? That's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Del. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't Think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key.
According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still be you to the key. Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup. It's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Hey, um, look, I, um... Well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Cool. Cool. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected. And then all hell broke loose. If the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. This Cricks undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle and... We'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Morden Gillespie, out.
you what the Crimson Fleet's made of! Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Captain, greetings. is a joke. They haven't caught us yet. Too many missions. Not enough time.
There you are. What the hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a... Big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay Dios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Rokoff is... <laughs> well, he's Rokoff. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long-hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. 
Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. If you have any last questions about the job, ask them now. I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty darn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Oh yeah, sure, anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. For your sake, I hope you are sincere. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Jingle in those pockets, Bob. Could use a good shake. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Roll call's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats, but I can guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get jazzed to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. Stay sharp, Rook. Rokov's been tipping me off about it at the event, so it's simple.
And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. All Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credit. Yeah? And who do you think Delgado's gonna back in a dispute? You, over me. Please. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my boots. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Hit me up if you got questions. I have had enough dealings with the Crimson Fleet to know that we should both be very, very aware of our surroundings right now. You can get work from the boards near the Reckoner's Core. Voss will make sure you get paid. like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up, as long as your credits are good. You scared of a little ghost? No, 
It may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all, no questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Sure. It's not like I'm busy keeping this rust bucket of a station from falling apart. Oh, yeah. Nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again.
Part one cleared for docking. Welcome home to the Vigilance. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Chasing ghosts on Suvorov. There's one thing spookier than a pirate. Yo, back. So how did it go? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Even with our best intelligence equipment, we can monitor very little from the Vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long-range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. If we get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, but we might blow your cover. That could get everyone killed. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado. But never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Can you imagine the amount of embarrassment Galbank would have to endure if they listed a lost transport in the ship registry? Doesn't matter if that ship went down five or five hundred years ago. If news gets out that a bank has misplaced money, it would tank their value. That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. 
If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Good day, Captain. 